paper dude over here. Just showed up at the job. Huh? Clearing trees. JV, Antonio, Scott Hunt on the excavator in his natural habitat. Tearing up the world on a hillside. A tree doesn't stand a chance. It's in the way of our solar noon. Engineer 775 is on top of it. Engineer 775, got ahead of myself. Didn't even introduce this project. Just uh, got ahead of myself. Putting up another Sinclair SDE ground mount. The gents are assembling right now, putting up the trusses. We pounded these in with the Rambo driver, which is leaning precariously over there, about to fall over. And um, I'm just getting, bringing a trench over to where Johnny's working. So uh, we're uh, just uh, <laughs> setting it 35 degrees. Very easy, nice hardware. Everything's uh, similar, same size sockets. And we're gonna bring up a wiring trough here. We're gonna do, this is an S, another grid tie SMA string inverter job. PV Direct at its finest. That four gang receptacle there has um, 4,000 watts on it. That when the sun is shining, it's regulated 4,000 watts out of that 10,000 watt array that you can run your freezers, any 120 volt load and um, up to 4,000 watts, up to 2,000 watts per load. Um, so there's a lot that you can do without batteries. And that's the cool thing about the SMA SPS feature. It's a switch out at the inverter. If the grid's down for a long period of time, just hit that switch. Then you can run drop cords from this receptacle to your, to your loads. If you got sunlight like that, you can do a lot. And that's just a nice little feature, a little add-on while we're pulling the wires, we do that. In here we have the uh, SMA, both inverters are up there, and they are brought to that AC disconnect, and then it's a line side, actually on this, this one, the last one was line side tap, sorry. This one is just landed in a 60 amp solar breaker, and all of that is below the bus bar rating, doesn't exceed it for this GE panel, and uh, and that's it. We didn't want to put the disconnect behind the air conditioner. And then we trenched, it's a, just 85 feet. We put mobile home feeder, 2246, up to a GE combiner panel. And that's where the two SMA 5.0s are combined via breaker. And then there's main lugs that we hooked on to to come here, so we go main lug to the lugs in the Eaton AC disconnect. So there you have it. Just a non-fuse because we have overcurrent protection device here and our 60 amp GE breaker. Then uh, we've got 28 of the Axitec 410 watt modules. And plenty of plenty of power. We took down about 10 trees on this uh, west side of the array. So we should have good afternoon light now. So that's the beauty of the excavator. We can come up, show up, do the tree work, do the trenching work, do the driver, pound the posts, finish grading, carry materials. Just uh, bragging on the Yanmar again. So we're just wrapping up on day two, wiring up this array. Again, we use the Sinclair ground mount, SDE Sky Rack 2.0. Very simple rack, but stout. It's been very effective. Wow, you look like you're packing up. I'm getting out of here. You got all that solar landed? I'm getting going. We're making power. You're making power? Yeah, he turned the breakers on. Oh, wow. Okay. Very good. Well, and here we have our wiring trough where it all happens. It's a new move for the SPS. Those are those are the two switches that you turn on the four gang receptacle in the customer's garage. 
Johnny Boy is connecting them to the SMA portal right now so you can monitor them. And this is our little GE combiner panel, 240 amp breakers, double pole. And that's pretty much it. We ran the mobile home feeder in with two circuits for the SPS. And that's it, we're just cleaning up. Oh, it's nice to see green lights, boss. How about 4,500 watts? Really, already? Yeah. On one? That's what we like, 4,500 watts, just turned it on. That's half of the array. All right, again, these are Axitec 410s. These have been pretty good. They're they out of them now, we're back to 400s. This is the last batch of 410s, it's always changing. So wrapping up, when we're not doing a battery backup system, we're slipping in here a grid tie, but usually it's the SMAs because of that cool SPS feature they have to give you some backup power. We just can't leave you without power. It's just not, it just doesn't sit well with us. So anyway, I think everything came out really well. And we're wrapping up right now, testing out the secure power source. Again, a PV direct solution that I believe only Sunny Boy has, only SMA has. These are very high performance inverters, transformerless 6.0, very efficient, really like them. So occasionally we'll, instead of doing a Solark, we'll uh, work in a SMA job. So, all right, well, hope you got something out of it. Again, the Sinclair ground mount, as you can see how simple it is, very easy to adjust the angle. It's got a little protractor on it. So you can adjust and put this wherever you want. It's not a seasonal adjust. Once this thing is built, very hard to make an adjustment. I wouldn't do that. So you wanna pretty much set it as at your latitude and uh, forget it forever. So that's what we typically do. And this is the last of the old style Perlins. We've been building some with the new. So there's a little bit more uh, different design and we usually start that first uh, post now with a Perlin overhanging. So you'll be seeing the new Sinclair design out of us from here on out. This is the last of the material for the original Sky Rack 2.0. And uh, Johnny Boy doing a final SPS, figuring out rigmarole. There's always something, always something that'll challenge you at the end of the hot day. And that's it. We're kind of locked and loaded, ready to head back. I think everything's good. We got her nice and straight. Not that that changes the performance. That's just, I can't help myself. It's gotta be, oh, it's gotta line up or I just can't sleep. So, all right. I don't know what else to show you on this. If you're interested in a system, please let me know. And uh, if you ever wanted to do a battery backup system, he could AC couple this to like an inverter, like a Solark if he wanted to. But he's pretty happy with this design. And um, all right, we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next job. All right, if you folks have any questions or looking for some solar, let us know. We'd be glad to help you design a system, hand it off to you, or do it for you. Engineer 775, signing out.